What's happening guys, it's Shane here and in today's video we're going to be talking about whether or not you should work while you're in college. So very simple question and I'm going to be going over the pros and cons of working while you're in college and I'm going to tell you what my opinion is on whether or not you should work depending on your situation. All right, so goal for this video is going to be 1000 likes. Let's see if we can gently tap that like button 1000 times. I want you to hit that button. Also, if you haven't done it already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. I think less than 20% of you that watch my videos are subscribed. Stop creeping. Come on now, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you are updated when I upload a new video. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. In my opinion, should you work while you're in college, most of the time, yes. Now, depending on the source you look at, somewhere around 60 to 70% of students do work while they're in college. Usually it's going to be part-time. So first of all, working part-time in college is going to have the obvious benefit of giving you extra money. That's going to allow you to you know, buy extra stuff, go out and eat extra food, have fun with your friends and all that good stuff. On top of that, it's going to allow you to take out less in student loans, which is always nice as well. There are many examples of people who actually worked during college and were able to pay for their entire college experience because of the fact that they were working part-time as well. So that's possible. But I think the amount of money you earn from working a part-time, usually entry-level job during college is probably the least beneficial thing about working a part-time job during college. Because the truth is, you're not gonna be making all that much. You're likely gonna be making minimum wage or maybe just above minimum wage. It's gonna be a lot less than the job that you work after you graduate. The most important reason why you should work a part-time job and this is probably the biggest pro on the pros and cons list is because it's going to give you work experience, right? So when you graduate from college and you get your first real job, most of them are going to expect that you know the basics, like you have basic levels of professionalism, you know, you know how to use a fax machine, you know how to use a phone. And I can tell you, I have worked with people who went to college and they never had a job during college and I've had to teach them some of these basic things and it takes them a lot longer to catch on than some somebody who simply had just a basic part-time job. You can definitely tell the difference and it's not just people that you work with, but it's also the people who are gonna be making the decision on whether or not to hire you. I can tell you as somebody who has helped to hire many people, there is a huge difference between the people who have work experience and those who don't have work experience. It's probably gonna take you like months longer to train people who don't have work experience. And getting that experience is going to teach you things that are basically soft skills where you can't really learn it out of a book or learn it in university or anything like that. The only way you can learn these soft skills like communication, professionalism, uh, just being on time for work, things like this is to actually do it, right? There's no other way that you can learn about it. You can't really read about it in a book or learn about it in an online course. You just simply have to do it and learn along the way. That's why they call it on the job training. Another pro is a 2019 Rutgers study showed that people who have part-time jobs during college actually earn more than people who didn't have a part-time job during college but graduated with the same degree. Now, it's unclear here whether that's correlation or causation. It could be that people who are more likely to get a part-time job are people who are more likely to be ambitious and so therefore they make more money. So it could be that getting a part-time job isn't really going to help you make more money in the future. But it also could be causation just because of the fact that employers are gonna see that you have that part-time job and they're gonna be more likely to hire you and more likely to pay you better. On top of that, it's probably going to help you when it comes to networking as well. Because of the fact that you work, you're gonna be in contact with professionals and these people might be able to refer you when it comes to networking. Not only can they give you letters of recommendation, but they might be able to directly introduce you to people who might end up hiring you in the future. Now let's quickly talk about the cons of working part-time while you're in college. First of all, I already mentioned this one, but usually part-time jobs aren't going to pay all that well. They're gonna be kind of like minimum wage or maybe just a above minimum wage. But I do have a counterpoint here. I personally worked a part-time job uh, while I was an undergrad and I got paid well above minimum wage because it was a sales related job. So you basically got paid based on how well you did. So I've talked about this quite a bit um, on my other channels. I basically started by selling stuff, uh, selling eyeglass cleaner specifically um, at different gun shows, boat shows, 
uh, health shows, etc. First, I started working for an organization and I just sold one thing for them. And then later on, I kind of branched out on my own. I sold a bunch of other different things along with the eyeglass cleaner. So it really ranged how much I would make based on whether I had like a really good weekend or a really bad weekend. But usually I would make somewhere around 30 to $50 an hour. Usually was limited to Friday, Saturday, and sometimes Sundays. So it wasn't something you could do all the time. Also, you know, I usually wouldn't go to shows unless they were big shows. There were a couple small shows that I went to where I didn't really do all that well, so it wasn't worth my time. But it was an extremely flexible job where, you know, I could do it every couple weekends and it was fantastic. Also, I got a ton of great work experience, uh, not only when I was working for the company, but learning sales that teaches you a ridiculous amount of soft skills like communication, persuasion, etc. But I've also had part-time jobs that were kind of what you would consider like crappy jobs. There was one time where I had a part-time job where I was basically like a janitor at a baseball field. I would do more than just janitor, but I would, you know, clean up the bathrooms, I would mop, I would sweep, um, you know, all kinds of things like that at a baseball field. And, you know, it was considered a crappy job, but I didn't think it was all that bad. I also have worked part-time jobs in the service industry where you're basically like serving people um, in grocery stores, for instance. And I would definitely see why people would think that that's more of a crappy job. Um, but what I can say is, you know, the downside to working kind of a crappy, like minimum wage type job is you set a certain bar for yourself and you kind of know, like, this is what a crappy job is like. And so when you get a good job in the future, you're going to actually realize how lucky you are and you're going to feel extremely grateful. Another downside to working a job while you're in college is, of course, you're probably going to be relatively busy when you're working on classes, especially if you're doing something like engineering or mathematics, a really difficult uh, degree track, uh, you're going to be pretty busy just with the studying and the classes alone. And on top of that, sometimes depending on the job that you have, they might not be very flexible when it comes to midterms or finals. So obviously when you're taking your finals, you're going to be much busier. You're going to be studying pretty much all the time unless you're a genius. And because of that, you're likely aren't going to have as much time to work. Now, hopefully you are working at a place that understands that and you have maybe some coworkers that are going to cover your shifts for you so that you can study during finals. But if not, that can make finals even more stressful and it could potentially impact your grades. Now, if you are somebody who is in a situation like this where, you know, maybe you're just really busy, you've got a family, for instance, and you're taking classes and you, your plate is just full, I still would recommend getting a part-time job, but you can kind of be sneaky about it. So basically get a part-time job where you work like a half shift every two weeks or every month or something along those lines. And the reason for this is because you can then put on your resume or your CV that you had a part-time job. And nobody's gonna ask you, oh, were you working 20 hours a week, 30 hours a week, 10 hours a week? You just put part-time job. Never once have I ever been asked like how many hours a week I was working on my resume, and I don't think anybody's ever going to ask that. It still is going to look very good on a resume to see that you actually have work experience. And it takes up very little of your time. Now, the last downside of getting a part-time job is if you make too much money, you might actually get punished on your financial aid. So you might be receiving a certain amount of financial aid per semester, and if you make above a certain amount of money, they will give you less financial aid. So this is kind of a good thing and a bad thing because if you have less financial aid, that means there's less money that you have to pay back. But at the same time, if you have a certain amount of expenses, you gotta cover those expenses one way or another. Now this might change if you get what's known as an on-campus job. So there are on-campus jobs where sometimes they will give you a certain amount of money, and then sometimes they might give you something like free house right so if you're an RA resident assistant you might be able to live there for free and you might be able to eat for free so they pay you in different ways without directly paying you money so those are things you can look into as well but overall if you're afraid of making too much money with your part-time job again I would still recommend getting it and then just work a little bit less because one way or another it's going to help you having a part-time job so to summarize this entire thing I kind of told you at the very beginning if you didn't want to listen to all of the reasons but I really think think that you should absolutely have a part-time job no matter what even if you're working like one half shift a month one half shift uh, every two weeks still do it it looks so much better to have work experience on your resume while you're in college than if you don't have it this is going to give you such a huge advantage and if there's any hiring managers 
or HR managers or business owners that are watching this, they're probably shaking their head yes right now because they know what it's like to work with somebody right out of college who has no real life work experience. They might end up being the greatest worker ever, but it's probably gonna take like three to six months to teach them the basics. That's all for this video, guys. Hope it was very simple and straightforward for you what my opinion is on this subject. Uh, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time. Thank you.